I'm here to meet Clem Jameson, who is the son of Jedediah Jameson, who was the first Earthling that I met when I first came to Earth. At that time, I didn't have a human body yet. I was still a worm. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where he is, but looking around this place, the Pearl, it seems like a really cool place to check out. They've got a farmer's market. They've got a beautiful hotel. They've got all of these little shops. So once we meet up with Clem, after that, I think we'll do a tour of this area because it looks like a great place to hang out on a Saturday or a Sunday here in San Antonio, Texas. So what we have here is these are organic. They are locally grown. No pesticides at all involved in, 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 in making these. And I gotta tell you that there's no uh, GMOs involved whatsoever. Now what you're gonna find is this beautiful color right here is going to actually indicate the ripeness. So you are ready to just carve these up and put them in a salad or whatever you wish to do. You can also rub Borg! Pork. If you want to excuse me for just one moment and I'll be right. Hey, are you Clem? Yes, I am, sir. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting my invitation to the world famous Pearl. You know, I got a little confused when I first got here because I was expecting some sort of giant mollusk, I don't know, like with mother of pearl and maybe submerged underwater, but there we are. It's beautiful. Well, I uh, invited you here on behalf of my, my dearly departed father who has shuffled off to his mortal jangles. He has gone to his glory above. Oh, he's gone to planet Huron. Huron is a beautiful planet. It's like a virtual intergalactic playground. Aliens come from all over the galaxy to go to planet Huron. Lucky him. Yes, yes. And before he went to Huron, he said that he wanted to express his deepest remorse for his patriotic duty that led to your unfortunate treatment by the hands of our U.S. government. Oh, you mean uh, Area 51? I didn't want the Area 51 people to hear us, you understand. Probably a smart plan. So I do express my condolences from my father up in Urine for what he had done to you. Oh, you know, when I came down to this planet and I saw your father in that beet field and we had that conversation, telepathically of course, and then of course he, he did call the authorities because he felt it was his patriotic duty and Perhaps he had watched a few too many science fiction movies. It spoke to my mind. Then at Area 51, uh, I made some friends. Of course, they, they did put me into deep hibernation for 34 years. On the bright side, I did discover the stage. A rocket stage? Oh, no, no, the theater. I discovered the theater. We started the Area 51 players. We did Guys and Dolls. We did West Side Story. I played Riff. <laughs> Well, I am so relieved on behalf of my father. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I accept your condolences on my behalf. If I could ask you one last thing. Um, yeah. Would you mind, uh, <clears throat> uh, would you mind talking to my brain? Speak to my head? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you mean telepathically. <laughs> You know, I haven't done that in about 34 years. I'm out of practice. I don't even know if I could still... Hello, Clem. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Am I speaking telepathically? Ooh. <laughs> Clem, I forgave your father long ago for sending me to Area 51. He was a good man, a good farmer. And I'm so glad that we have now made each other's acquaintance. I can't believe I'm talking with my mind. Could you hear me okay? I believe I did, yes. <laughs> that was great. Usually what follows is a feeling of euphoria after speaking telepathically. Feels good, too. <laughs> as, a, as a gesture of my appreciation, is there anything you would like to see while you were here in San Antonio? I can be your guide. Well, there is something that I really wanted to see while I was here. <laughs> I can only remember 
The Alamo. The Alamo. Yes, the Alamo. Um, uh, I need to go back to my gourds, so uh, I will have my brain call your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Or I could probably just email you. What was I supposed to remember? There's so many things to see here. There's that independent bookstore, Twig. There's the Lorraine Bakery, which is really good. I had a few baked goods while I was there. It's a coffee shop right across the way over here. And just, you know, the whole farmer's market is an amazing place to hang out on the weekend. used to have stables. Uh, they're not stables anymore. In fact, they have uh, events like weddings and receptions in here now. There is some construction around it, but let's see if we can just go over the construction and give you an idea. 1894. Kind of a round building, it seems like. Here's the food court with a nice air conditioning inside <laughs> and tables to sit at. And a lot of fun choices. This extension of the river walk connects from the older river walk, which goes through the Alamo and all those places. And if you take this extension, you will pass by SAMA, which is the San Antonio Museum of Art and other attractions. It's pretty cool to walk along the river walk. And right next to the river walk, we have Hotel Emma, which is a luxurious hotel. Right here at the salad bar, which is right next to the booth where Klim works with the organic farm products, and I just got this amazing salad. Let's All check it out. All sourced from Talking Tree Farm. All sourced from where? Talking Tree Farm. Talking Tree Farm. Yeah. Check it out. All right, we're about to take a bite of the salad with arugula and kale and a prickly pear vinaigrette and egg. Oh, and flowers, edible flowers for decoration. Mm, that is great. Yay. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you. Of course. I hope you're taking care of your human body out there just as I'm taking care of my human body. I'll see you next week. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Yeah.